You. You. Wow. Something looming over us. What? Attack on Titan, the exhibition! Yes, Woo! and the exhibition has been open since the 19th of February and will stay open until the 3rd of July here at the Art Five Museum, Marina Bay Sands. Sands, 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 yes! And today we're going to take you guys through a sneak preview of what to expect at the exhibition. And if you guys want tickets, they are available at the Marina Bay Sands box office as well as their website. So without further ado, let's go! Let's go! Oh my goodness, you're finally at the entrance of the exhibition and I'm super excited to check it out. But, did you see what's behind us? Eden Yeager himself, the main oh. protagonist. Yes. And oh. if you, you step, step back, right, you can you actually see the Colossus, the Colossal Titan, right? Face. The face, the face of the Colossal Titan. Which is, it's a beautiful art piece as you can see. Yeah, then uh, at the four corners, there's also like four other special titans that play a very important role in the story as well. Yeah. But you know what, before we actually move on, we need to give our special thanks to the people who made this possible. So thank you so much, uh, PR Global Entertainment and SL Experiences for making this happen. And organized by Space Logic and mm -hmm. of course the venue, Art Science Museum. Thank you so much for giving us my things. Yes. Okay, so now that's done. Let's go check it out. <laughs> so when you first enter the exhibit, right, don't miss the greeting panels. And of course, from the author himself, Hajime Isayama, and don't worry, it's uh, in English. Uh. Okay, so <laughs> you can understand. Okay, so after this is done, we can head over to the photo off. Yes, let's go. I want to take photos. Ah, who doesn't? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh. So, yeah, you can actually take a photo here while being surrounded by interesting facts from the enemy. Yeah. So, if you guys like to take a photo, you totally can. And then they'll just hand you a number and you can just grab the photos at the end of the exhibition. So, there are like two different types of frames, right? Mm -hmm. We have the hard frame, which is going for $25. $25. Yeah, and the soft one going for... $20! <laughs> so, you guys can pick and choose which one you want to you know, get. But, you know what I want to do? I want to explore the rest of the, the next exhibition. Room? The next room? Yeah, so let's go! <laughs> We like to do the honors. Let's do it together, okay? Yo, Koso! So we're here at the opening theater where we are greeted with a three-minute video, and at the end of this video, they're gonna make us choose which door we wanna go. Yeah, so you get to choose whether you wanna be outside the walls or inside the walls. So how do you want to do this? How about scissors, paper, stone? Okay. Okay. Wait, we're gonna get to pick. Fine, okay. Okay. Scissors, paper, paper stone! Uh, yes! Uh, okay, okay, okay. Shall you want? I'm a pig outside the walls. You uh, get to be inside. The you walls. want to be outsider. Uh. So, why not? Okay. I like to be outside. Okay, I'll yeah. see you on the other side. Whoa. So here I am. My journey outside of the walls. And um, yeah, as you can see, actually, um, if you actually visit here, you would know that uh, you get a sense of how like the people from outside the walls they are very fearful of the people inside the walls and they've actually been trained from really young to infiltrate and grab something that is taken from them or something that they need um, oh yeah as you can see over here so as you can see this is from the point of view from the colossal titan which is which is amazing because in the first season you saw things from the other perspective so my gosh beautiful beautiful art Wow! <laughs> oh my gosh! Wow, this is really cool. So this is inside the walls. They make it seem like the outside world is very scary. So you're like safe within these walls. Oh my gosh! That is a very iconic panel right here. This is when the first time the Colossal Titan made an appearance. And like the story just started from there already. Wow, it's like throwback. Eh? It's really like a throwback. You! You! You're the enemy! No, you're the enemy! No, I'm here to destroy the walls. What are you doing? This is my wall. This is my space. 
Okay, but we need to just grab something from your space. No, 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 cannot. No, no allowed. Hey, I like your shirt though. Ah, uh, so I like your shirt, where you get it from? Official merchandise store. You want to go? Buy one more. Okay. <laughs> okay, wait, no, as you can see, you can kind of tell we are not hired to write a story for Attack on Titan. Sorry, sorry. Uh, you get to choose a side and then you get to understand the different motivations from both outside and inside the walls. Then you can empathize with them. Yeah. And then it all converges to mm -hmm. one single point and then you get to see whatever's behind what is happening at the end. Okay. Mm. So, just now you saw we have the red side and the blue side. Uh -huh. So, I bet you're wondering what's this black colour frame for? Yeah. Black colour means both sides are present. Oh. So you get to see Aaron and Reyna in both the same frame, so that's why it's a black colour. I see. Yeah. So let's move on. Okay. So you see, the red colour means inside the walls and the blue colour is outside the walls. I like how mm. the frames are tilted to show like conflict and fight. Oh, oh that. I see it, man. Yeah. I see it, okay. And it's also like all these scenes. Iconic are... scenes. Yeah, they're iconic scenes. Oh. Wait, this one over here. Oh, okay. This is a very important fight between Eren and the Armor Titan. Yeah. And I think it's a beautiful scene. It's like beautifully illustrated. Yeah. And with the wall oh, and everything. Walls as well. Yeah. It's like an extension of this. I'm a representative from outside the walls here to wipe out all humanity within the walls. Excuse me, red colour inside the wall is where it's at. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. You're about to meet your maker. Please. So we have the entire series of events leading up to the clash. The epic clash. I like how they frame it up like that. Like yeah. put together, right next to each other. Yeah, it's genius, man. Having all the journeys coincide together in this very I'll moment. Oh. You can take photo in the next part of the exhibition. Come on, let's go. You will not regret this. So here we are with another photo op. So this is a very iconic scene from the manga. So basically, uh, what is happening is that a lot of these titans were being like thrown in the air as <laughs> live bullets to attack the people. So you get to see like the cutouts of the mm -hmm. falling titans. Can you please pretend a bit they were oh, being attacked? Okay. Oh my god! Oh my god, it's raining titans! We okay, are like the people that no one wants to say, man. <laughs> and I think just let us just... Okay. For the greater good, we shall For the greater good. Go but, on about me. <laughs> So yeah, just so you almost want to take a photo there, this is like the perfect spot to take a photo because it's like a whole wall size of falling titans as well as cutouts. So it's almost like it's popping out. Okay. Of but wall. I heard that there's something even better later. No way. Yeah. Okay. okay. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> oh, wow. Whoa, this is the nine key titans, right? Yeah, the driving force of the story. Wow. I like how they give a summary to each titan. Yeah, it's so clear and concise. So if you guys were to head down here and you guys need a little bit more info on other titans, this is like the, the board. So which one is your favourite titan? The card titan. Why? I think it's very funny. It's, it's a really meme <laughs> titan. <laughs> okay, I will choose the card titan also because transport. Oh, free transport. transport. Free. And who doesn't like free stuff? But, but speaking of titans, do you feel like a sense? Something looming over us? What? Oh my god, actually when I first saw this, I got a shock of my life. Oh my god, this is this is almost like... Life size? A, yeah, like a one-to-one -one scale. I think this is a great photo opportunity. I, I can foresee a lot of people just lining up to take photos with this beautiful face. Yeah, I think this is actually the first time that it's been in Singapore, right? Like in an, an exhibition. Yeah. Yeah, so... I am ready to take some photos. Are you okay, ready to take okay, some photos? I got my photo. Right <laughs> okay, sure. Okay, here we go. Yes, okay. One, two, three. Yeah! <laughs> Alright! Okay, my turn, my turn. Okay, I'm ready to be a titan. Nice! <laughs> nice! Look at that! Nice! nice. Yes! <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's move on to the theatre. Okay. Let's go, guys. Bye-bye. Bye! So, at 
at the Great Titan Theatre, you get to experience 10 minutes of video that spans over a 10 meter wall and it's actually surrounded by debris to, ha to add to that immersiveness. And I think it's it's amazing because this is actually a moving manga experience. Yeah, it makes you feel like you're dead itself. Yeah, in the ruins of the aftermath of the war and the battle. It, it's not a fight just now, right? Yeah, so that it happens did. in the manga and anime as well, but it's depicted very differently here. So it's like a whole new experience. Wow, so if you guys are here, you need to sit through this 10 minute experience. It's, mm -hmm. uh, it, it's really an experience that's super immersive. But you know what else is going to level up the immersiveness? But the stuff behind us. You want to check it out? Yeah, I do. Come on. Woo! Let's go. So here we are, and here are actually artifacts from the manga itself. So would you like to take a guess on what this is? You know, what is this black claw? This is actually Mikasa's scarf, and I know we remembered it to be like a deep red, burgundy, red colour kind yeah, of yeah, scarf, yeah. but it is actually originally meant to be this shade. Black? Of I get your oh, black. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, yeah, this is okay. what the author intended it to look like. So, okay. if you guys actually visit the exhibition, you get There's to see more stuff. Yeah, you get to see way more artifacts than this, but uh, we can't show you right now. But we can give you like hints of maybe like the survey corpse. Oh, okay. <laughs> the, 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 the cape. The cape, yes. We have yes. Annie's ring. Mm -hmm. We also have Armin's book. And the. Key. Yes. Key. Yeah. So if you guys actually drop by, you get to see those for yourself. And another fun fact, right? All these were actually done right with close consultation from the author himself. Oh, nice. Yeah. So we want he we wanted to make sure we actually brought to life something as authentic was, as possible. Yeah, as authentic and as close to what he intended it to look like. So here we are at the character's profile section. You know, every single character, be it like the main or supporting, right? They have their own section with like iconic manga panels as well as summaries and comments as well. From, from the, the author, author and the editor as well. Mm. So this is like a once in a lifetime experience. So yeah. let's go, let's go find, go find your favorite character. Yeah, you go first because mine is very close by. Okay, okay. <laughs> so here we are at Levi Heicho's section. He is one of the most popular characters in the series, okay? So you can see his summary, his uh, manga panels, as well as the comments. Like, I thought I was able to draw Levi's expression well. I also agree. Wow. I think this is uh, going to be a very popular section. So yes, my favourite character is actually Mikasa. So this is like a board. Just look at how cool she is. But come. Um, this is the board where you see com uh, like manga panels as well as like a little short um, description of how she actually met Eden and a, like a little short story about how she as a character came about. And uh, yeah, this is actually one of the scenes in which she first met Eden Yeager. And uh, yeah, and I love the fact that there are actually comments from the author himself here where he was describing how Mikasa's eyes looks a little bit crossed now looking back, and which I think it's a very cute and uh, fun touch to this exhibition. And yeah, I mean, fun fact, I actually wore pants that matches Mikasa's pants in the later season, so <laughs> yeah. So here are the rest of the character profiles that you guys can check out when you're here at the exhibition and you can you guys can find out who your favorite character is. Oh, I already know mine. Oh, what's yours? Levi ah. Oh, then mine is Mikasa. Oh. Maybe better, the better choice, the easier choice. I feel like mine is like so much cooler though. Yeah, she has so many Sims. Are you one of those Sims? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> me too, me too. <laughs> let's go, let's move on. Oh, we're almost at the end. Yeah. <gasps> I remember this scene. This is the part where he turned hot. Oh my god, yeah, when, when there's still hope for him, right? <laughs> yeah, I know, when I when I watched that part of the anime, I was just like, I mean, okay! I mean, he changed his hair, then got app also. I like, know, oh, I know. Like, since when? Stop your simping, okay? Stop <laughs> your simping. So we're here at the final drawings, so and you guys must be thinking, why are we staying in this really weird corner? We're not showing anything, right? It is because... Spoilers galore. Uh-huh. So actually, the exhibition that happened in Japan, right, it was held when the manga wasn't completed. So. Now that we're in Singapore, the manga is completed and um, that means... We have this section! Yes, that we cannot show you! Yeah, I'm really sorry about it. Yeah. But you know what is so special about this Singapore exhibition? What? It's because they brought down three original manuscripts down no way. for display and it's making its global debut. <gasps> yeah, so this is the first time everybody's seen this. Yeah, and when we mean the real thing means it's like from... Authentic! Authentic from from Japan itself, okay? It's the real deal. So if you guys would like to check it out, be sure to get your tickets and experience this for yourself. Yeah. Okay, so this is the interview room. As you can <gasps> see, we are surrounded by all his sketches yeah. of the manga. And then, right, 
Yeah. If you see if there are red words, red words, mm -hmm, yeah. it means it's comments from his first editor, Shintaro Kawakubo. Oh. Yeah, basically he hoarded all his sketches because he felt like Attack on Titan was going to be a huge hit. And he was right. He was right, yeah. yeah we're in, like, in an exhibition now. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. You're surrounded by all these sketches. It feels mm -hmm. like you're surrounded by genius. Yes, and you're also accompanied with an uh, interview by the author himself uh, just sharing about his experience, about how, how he conceptualized the characters mm -hmm. and the stories and yeah. stuff. Wow, very interesting, very interesting. Okay, you know, so like, perhaps you'll get to see like a different side yeah. of the manga now. I'm still like watching him now, you get to like see how far he's come, right? Yeah. He started this when he was like super young. Right? Super young, like if you think about it, 11 years ago or even earlier than that, he probably like started on it really. Yeah, that's crazy. I can tell he really has a fondness and attachment to his mm -hmm. art because he keeps everything because he couldn't bear to throw any yeah. away. So we've officially come to the end of the exhibition. And you guys, because this is a curated exhibition, right? You guys might be left feeling a little bit lost at certain part of, uh, parts of the story. But fear not, we have an anime screening that's 20 minutes. So you guys think, must be thinking 20 minutes of what? 20 minutes from like the season 1 until the final season all crammed into 20 minutes. But we are still not done yet. Yes, because there's one last thing that we've been talking about this entire time. Something we girls love, right? Shopping! Merchandise! <laughs> Merchandise! This is where you throw your money. Yeah, and the different the, the difference of like this place compared to other places, this is an exhibition, Attack on Titans original. Yeah, so yeah. you can only get it here. here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some some of the stuff lah, basically, some of the stuff. So what are you looking at? Oh, uh, I was looking at this candle holder because I love candles. And uh, if you light mm. it up inside, there's actually designs the of characters. Like, yeah, the trimming characters. And when you light up, you can see them from outside. That's very cool. Yeah, you can kind of see I them now. I was actually eyeing the pouch. Oh, really? Wow, your eye, eagle eye. Yeah, because I'm a practical person. I see. Why, why are you looking at me like that? I sense the shape. No, I mean, this is going to make a good gift for like me. <laughs> oh, right. I see. Okay, okay. It looks like a cool friendly too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, yeah, if you guys are into, into like bags, there are tote bags, there are shirts. More shirts. Other than the ones they were wearing, there's other designs as well. Mm -hmm. But this and is cool. This is cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. And so yeah, this is our, the t-shirt that we're wearing. I also like how they have a lot of sizes available. Yeah, so you guys can grab one for yourselves once you guys come to the exhibition. But remember, we took uh, like we talked about photo op uh, opportunity. Oh, yeah, the, the right? photo. The, yeah, the green okay, screen. Okay. Yeah, this is where you can get your photos. So uh... come with us. Okay, so this is one of the cutouts available at the photo booth collection, uh, photo collection area. Uh, I like this scene a lot. Okay, I ah. think I found the folder already. Ah. Excuse me, what are you doing? Relieving a very important moment. Yeah, okay, we're, we're here to, to show, give people a sneak peek and as to what the exhibition has. Not for you to relieve your sim dreams. Okay. okay. <laughs> so if you guys would like to take a photo, capture a memory and bring it home, this is your chance at the exhibition. Such a cool souvenir. Mm -hmm. can, can I take? I guess so, you sure? Why not? Oh. What a journey, Estelle. What a journey. Yeah. How do you feel about it? Well, I felt like I've been through and stepped into the shoes of all the different characters, both inside and outside the wall. And then on top of that, having to hear um, the author himself share mm. his thoughts on his journey. Inside the UFO. Yeah, and then having the three manual, like the authentic manuscripts, manuscripts. here. It's been an absolute honour to, to, to see this firsthand, and I hope you guys enjoyed the tour with us. Yeah, so definitely if you are a fan, you have to come down and experience this for yourself, mm -hmm. for sure. And if you guys want the tickets, just head over to the MBS box office. Mm -hmm. um, you can get the tickets on the description down below as well, and the link is inside. Then uh, yeah, please get your tickets and come down here. Mm -hmm. Experience it for yourself. Come down to the art science museum. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, you also should note that this exhibition is Advisory 16. So if you have kids or children who want to attend this exhibition, it would be great if the parents can come along with them as well. Then you guys can enjoy it as a family, you know? Yeah. So yeah, be sure to enjoy yourself and, and you know, like come and visit this once in a lifetime really, exhibition. We live the whole experience all over again. Yeah, only, uh, uh, only here at Art Science Museum. So I oh. hope you guys have a wonderful time and we hope to see you guys next time. Bye! Bye!